Ukrainian intelligence destroyed two Russian Su-57 fighters, expert announced the important points. In Russia, according to preliminary information, two Russian ultra-modern Su-57 fighters could be hit and the enemy has suffered casualties among personnel. Representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Andriy Yusov, shared this information during the telethon. First of all, we state the very fact of defeat. The main intelligence directorate does not comment on the means of destruction officially, what kind of operation it was and whose. But everyone can draw their own conclusions. The information is being clarified and indeed, this is very good news for Ukraine. This is the first combat defeat of this ultra-modern aircraft, which Russia is positioning as a fifth-generation aircraft. However, many in the world have doubts about this, he noted. Yusov emphasized that this news has indeed already become important and significant for military experts, the international military community, and the Wikipedia article was updated very quickly, but that's not all. There is data that continues to be clarified and preliminary information that there could be two affected Su-57 aircraft. There is also information about irretrievable losses and wounded among the occupier's personnel, said a representative of the main intelligence directorate. He emphasized that enemy Su-57 aircraft, without entering Ukrainian airspace, launched missile attacks specifically on civilian targets and peaceful infrastructure. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense reported that on June the 8th, in the Astrakhan region of the Russian Federation, at the Aktubinsk airfield, which is located 589 kilometers from the front line, an Su-57 fighter was hit. Co-founder and executive director of the Ukrainian Center for Security and Cooperation, Dmitry Zmelo, believes that the Russian Su-57 aircraft is most likely damaged beyond repair. This is a very big victory for us. It is also a big reputational loss for the Russians, comparable to the defeat of a Tu-95 or A-50 aircraft by the Ukrainian Defense Forces. The drones landed next to the Su-57 aircraft in order to hit it with debris because it was under a certain covering. Most likely, we have cautious optimism that the plane is damaged irrevocably. It will not be able to be restored, he said on Espresso. According to the expert, the Russians spent a very long time developing their newest Su-57. Zmelo added that it was an expensive development. The expert noted the uniqueness of the difficult operation of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine to destroy the aircraft. As Zmelo explained, the operation was carried out thanks to systematic strategies to destroy the air defense of the invaders. Now we can strike at the Russian border, clearing the way for ourselves to strike in the depths of the Russian Federation. Now we can have quite significant similar results. We have something to hit, he concluded.